Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, Assalamualaikum and good morning. Okay, so today we are going to conduct the lab 5 which is forces in crane jib. So basically I'm going to explain uh, some uh, details about the apparatus. So basically this is uh, the structure here. Okay, it resembles the real crane. Okay, basically this is the body of the crane and then this is the place when we place the load for the structure okay, to uh, react with the load uh, given uh, in this point okay, at this point okay, so basically if you refer to the uh, page 5 okay, the procedure this is the F10 the spring balance the force is uh, represented by the spring balance here so basically the force uh, in this area will be uh, represented by this uh, spring balance and then for the F20, okay, the F20 will be represented by this this rod. Okay, so the the spring balance here will show you what is the reading. Okay, so let me let give you let me give you some uh, demonstration. Okay, if we give load here, see this the spring balance will give a value. Okay, so this is for the F20. This is for the F10. Okay, so now I give some load okay so it's going uh, down okay so that's how the the spring gets so you can, you can zoom out from the mode so it's to see the real uh, the whole structure okay so if you get load here this is what happened to the the structure okay okay so for the experiment we're going to place the load okay here at this point so basically uh, what the point of the experiment if you see the procedure we have x okay we have x and y okay so for the x okay for the x we need to uh, maintain the distance from this point okay from this point okay until uh, until this point okay so we need to maintain from this point until this point the x will do then for the y from this point to the base okay so from this point the the three point to to the base so we need to maintain uh, the distance okay uh, for the experiment now uh, we need to take uh, if you refer to the table okay for the table 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 okay. for the page uh, page seven Okay, we will have the x and y value. Okay, x and y value. If you uh, see uh, 5.0, okay, we have uh, C, B, A, X, and y. Okay, the most important is we have to make to make sure the x and y value here is is maintained. Okay, but for the A, uh, B, and C, we can we can alter. Okay, so. Uh, we can start with the zero. So now I am putting uh, this uh, hanger. Okay, this hanger. This has one newton, but we consider it as a zero load. Okay. So when you put it here, okay, it's the zero load. So we have to measure the x-axis, okay, the, the x value. Come on, Okay, so basically, okay, this is the x uh, value, okay, and then for the y value, okay, we're measuring it from the uh, bottom to the this point, okay, so. So until until this point, okay. Sorry. Okay, to the this to the top. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. One. Okay. So this is the x value. Okay, the distance. Okay. So 
this is the pi value okay okay so for the zero newton we have seen the value now we put a uh, two newton each one is one newton so you put the two newton okay okay so now uh, we have to measure to make sure that the x and y is back to the original uh, position Okay, so now uh, this is after two newton load. Okay, the x value has changed. Okay, so this is for the y value after two newton load. Okay. Okay, so for the two newton, so for the f. 10, this is the value okay and then for the F20 uh, this is the value okay okay so the for the 4 newton uh, we add another 2 newton to the weight hanger So this is the x uh, value. Okay, so this is the y value. Okay, as, as you can see, the value has uh, changed from the original position. So our task is to uh, change the chain and the rod length so that it will return to the original to the original position. Yeah. As you can see, okay, uh, let me show you. Okay, if we put the lot here, basically this point is going to the right and going down. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to return it to the original position by uh, changing this uh, this chain length. Okay, for example, uh, we pull it back here. Okay, and then for this rod, in order to put it. Uh, Get it down. Okay, we just uh, pull this this rod. Okay, then it will uh, taking this point down so that it will return to the original position. So this the concept is in here is when the uh, structure maintain the original uh, position, so the burden will comes to the member here. So we can see this value will. Uh, increase the load will increase in this point and at this point as well okay so this is the concept for this crane okay for example if you put the load here see the length will the sense will be given at this point